All right, so what we have is we have our, our indicator and strategy that you guys uh, will have on your own computers. And the boxes that you see here indicate speed in the market. Speed is when you want to participate in a possible trade coming up. Obviously, green boxes, uh, the momentum is up. Uh, red boxes, the momentum is down. Uh, but I want to sh uh, uh, one thing I did change on the indicator that Tina mentioned. Um, I have this as lime. I did change this outline to, from green to lime. It uh, really pops. So that has been changed on the indicator. <clears throat> you can see how the red indicator really pops. <clears throat> Excuse me. On the outline, showing speed in the market, looking for a retracement. So you see we have speed here this morning. Speed coming in the market, so you look for a full retracement. And we had a nice little trade here this morning at 8.11 where the triangle had printed. And then we had speed in the market come here. Never got deep enough retracement. If you want to take a shallow retracement, you could have took it here if you want. A lot of traders take a shallow retracement with an 8 still. That is fine. Deeper retracement came later right here also. What I want to show you though is this, is that I added a, another uh, option on the strategy that you can use. It works really, really well in CHOP. What happens is if you notice on major tops and major bottoms in the market, and it happened four or five times yesterday also, let's say I get major speed in the market like this. These bars start producing these speed bars. So you got one, two, three, four green speed bars in a row. If you get into resistance or support in a chop market, it's typically a top in the market. And I was going over this with Leo a little bit yesterday and Steve. This typically could be the higher low of a morning or evening session. It happens a lot all the time. So what you can do is when you see the market down on support and you get a big speed bar with a reversal, here it did caught the major low again. It's been creating major lows and major highs in the market. So if I get a blow off, sell off, and I get speed bar and a major reversal right after that, and it's on support resistance, it typically goes the other way. So you can play it two ways. And I've added the strategy to incorporate both so you can test it. I've got the strategy to look at sell-offs like this. On If we have a sell-off and we get a reversal on that sell-off, it will catch that bar long right at that low or at that high. And then I also got the continuation trades. So we'll go over that once you guys get that in your hands. Uh, but you can see major tops and major bottoms could be hap uh, happen right here at this low, right here at this high, right here at this low. So it's a good tradable way to trade these rallies and sell-offs. So yesterday in CHOP, let me show you what CHOP does. Yesterday morning, where, where are we? So here was a major top in the morning also, and that was a high value area right on it you had the blow off rally that produced a nice sell so i will show you when we get the strategy and how that's going to work but um once you get speed in the market once you get speed you get a possible trade retracement so you get speed this indicator will make the plot just when you see these speed bars come in you get a possible trade that's going to come up and that gives you a big heads up to start looking for your indicators that we use, market profile, supply demand lines, start, start looking for support or resistance to get these continuation trades. Then if you're in a chop market, you can see these highs and lows produce. In other words, when this these speed bars come up and you're in chop, it's a possible major top, major bottom also. And you could uh, you can use it accordingly as far as that goes. So that's a way to use these speed trend boxes 
as you can use for continuation here's speed in the market there's your first retracement this is a shallow retracement if you use an eight stow there's your long right there deeper retracement still coming up but if that's what you want to do you could do that on the speed bars on your own charts all right if you notice you can use it off these the best way how we traded yesterday it hit my target I talked about it yesterday I said if we break this level yesterday 80 was my target for the session for the morning session and once we got through that level she went right down to 80 and missed it by a few ticks came up retested it we came right back down to 80 was my target for the morning session and then it actually hit 80 right at the close of the market so we had that nice push we had a lot of uh, speed bars it gave us an opportunity you can see my target hit yesterday right on that's how the supply demand lines are really good targets for the market we had a big gap in the market that i noticed we were in a two-day downtrend and uh, that's why my target was 80 from the 96 uh, break 16 s p points and it sure enough hit it for the day so um i'm oh, sorry over here there it is there's your break there's my major break yesterday and it came right down to the 80 mark and i can see that 80 is really good support 80 81 so if we break 80 81 if we break 80 81 that's a very significant level for the market this morning and that's going to be a tradable level 80 81 81 a quarter right here it is so if we break and get some speed a speed bar through it look for 74 and a quarter it's a nice possible move to the downside as far as that goes now the big breakout on the s p remember i talk about parabolic moves parabolic moves are when the s p can run 20 30 40 s p points we see it all the time when we don't have any supply or demand line above us if you notice we have a huge gap in the market right here if we get above that level i anticipate is breaking through 4200 4203 we break through it once we do you should see a parabolic possible move in the s p those are the good ones on speed bar days because you look for a positive market I mean um, look for speed coming in on our speed bars look for the first retracement and try to get long in the market so today's critical levels on the S&P would be 4202 and a quarter to be exact and a critical level today which was my target yesterday sell bounce right off of it would be 81 a quarter Got as low as 80 so 81 a quarter right there so there's those are your critical levels here this morning watch those levels for any breakout parabolic move would happen here great 4202 we're looking at 23 and a quarter so that's a nice 20 s p point run i got no resistance above me the real big move will happen above 4230 you clear 4230 and I keep talking about this all the time if I don't see anything above me at all look at that you can skinny this down and see gaps in the market that's why I like to use this I skinny it down look at this move if we get above 4230 this week or early next week look at that that's when we see these big runs in the S&P where you just the train just rolls pretty hard you see this big gap right here if we break above 4202 got about 20 point s p run we got little gaps down here 32 to 18 what 90 down to 76 so there's other gaps in the market there's a big gap down here 62 41 so what i like to do and then here's your big giant parabolic move gap at this level we get below 40 41 these are the ones you really can take advantage of huge possible moves we see it all the time I talk about it and then all of a sudden a couple of days later or a break so the, the next week 
that you see those moves where you're like, wow, the S&P just moved 30, 40 points. That's why, because you have no underlying supply or demand below you or above you. But what I like to do is skinny it down and just find where the gaps are. See, this is a fresh supply demand line that just printed yesterday right there. So that's why it's reacting off of it. And if you get a fresh supply demand that just printed, remember, supply and demand lines are generated based upon accumulation distribution. Supply demand lines have been timeless over the history of the market because that's what creates order flow. So you can see we bounce right off of it at this level 88, but we won't get really active until you get outside of 02 and a quarter to 23 or if we break 4180 which should start seeing a slide but skinny your your larger time frame down and you can see gaps in the market like that if you really want to skinny it down like this i can see every single area i need to be playing going into next week this week here's the parabolic moves that outside of this outside of this here's your big gap here's your big gap here's your big gap here's your big gap so you want to try to play these gaps. These gaps are where you get any speed bars in these gaps. They tend to be filled relatively quickly. So that's a good technique how to find gaps in the market. And then what you do is you look at try, you try to wait for a speed bar to get in. Speed bar to get in for a continuation. You look for speed. So if this was a, let's say this is Right here, we got see this is a good speed bar trade. You got speed, there's your first retracement, and there's your arrow that are trying to prints. Now you got speed. See how, how you're getting that retracement speed coming up. You want to try to tr uh, time those breaking through those supply demand lines on those big gaps in the market in a market profile. 